Speak Student. The Catcher in the Rye, Alashma. My name is Holden Caulfield, and I'm going to tell you about the worst weekend any teenager has ever had to suffer. And I'd just like to start off by saying none of this stupid stuff ever would have happened if it had been me that had died, and not my brother Ali. Fate is just cruel and stupid sometimes. But okay, here goes. On the Saturday before Christmas break, I lost the fencing team's equipment on the subway and missed the biggest football game of the year. Then I went to chat with my history teacher, but he started reading at me from a paper I wrote. Well, you said that I'm gonna fail the class. And I was like, dude, seriously, I know what I wrote. You don't have to read it back to me. History is a big, big problem, and you know you gotta do it. To top everything off, I got into it with my roommate, and basically he beat me up. Better buckle up, boys and girls, because it's still day one of the worst weekend ever. I skipped out on old Pensy Prep and headed to New York City, thinking I'd spend a few days in the Big Apple before having to report to the parental units. TripAdvisor recommended I stay at the swanky Edmont Hotel, but I think they meant skanky. I tried to find a lady to、uh, spend some quality time with, if you know what I mean, but that didn't work out, and I got pimp punched for my trouble. Then it was Sunday. It's a new day. You're thinking things will get better, but oh, how wrong you'd be! I went on a date with this girl I knew,、uh, shot my mouth off, and she ditched me. I bought a record for my kid sister Phoebe, which I promptly broke. Then, while my folks were away from home, I went to visit Phoebe. I told her that I was the catcher in the rye, the guy who's supposed to save children from falling off the cliff and losing their innocence. Hey, it totally made sense when I said it. My parents came back, and I escaped from the apartment to see my old English teacher, Mr. Antolini, who didn't much care for my whole catcher in the rye shtick. I fell asleep at Mr. Antolini's, but woke up in the middle of the night to find him painting his toenails. Would you want me? Really? That kind of weirded me out.、Uh, so I left. I'd want me. I'd want me so hard. I wandered. I wandered. Then I wandered some more. I decided to head out west and live as a deaf mute because that makes about as much sense as anything else I've done. However, after I broke Phoebe's heart by telling her she couldn't come with me, I decided to stay home. I took Phoebe to the zoo, and she rode the carousel, and that was how I ended the worst weekend ever. Of course, I then went to stay in a mental hospital, where I hung around with this guy named Jerry, who went on and on about conspiracy theories and what an evil jerk Jean-Luc Picard is. Number one, I need to make a number two. So、oh, hey, things are looking up. Oh, and in case you didn't pick up on it, I'm being sarcastic. Life blows. Number one, I need to make a number two.